Public Breastfeeding 101. What is public breastfeeding? I suppose public breastfeeding is breastfeeding anywhere outside your home or your car. But that could even be public because yeah, you could be in a parking be. garage. Yeah. yeah. I guess I just never really think about it because you just need to feed your child and wherever that is, when they're hungry, they're hungry. So I guess if you're not in your home, I guess it's public. Why would I breastfeed in public? So that you can have freedom <laughs> and go them. out and yeah. go places and do things. Right. So you would need to feed your baby. What do people think about women who breastfeed in public? I think it depends on who you talk to. I absolutely concur. I, the everything. older generations, some of them, I, when I first did this, I thought that women who hadn't breastfed, fed, for instance, grandmothers would, would be uh, very uh, unaccepting of that. But more times than not, they're, where were you when we needed you? Be, and they're supportive and helpful and eager to learn. But there are some that criticize, you can't do that, this is not right. Um, I'll tell you a story about a, a gal that came to the pump station and she was in one of the support groups and she had a very unsupportive family and she'd been at a family dinner the night before and she said it was miserable, she had to be in the bedroom all evening and she couldn't sit around the table where everybody was laughing and talking. And some of the, she was a very personable young woman and some of the other ladies in the class, some of the women, took her phone number and called her the next week and said, hey, meet us for lunch at a restaurant over here. And so she did and uh, then when she got there, she said, hey, we're gonna teach you how to breastfeed in public. And so they did, they all breastfed and uh, around the table and, uh, and she began to try and she said by the next week she was at her family's and saying, here's the way it is folks, I'm gonna be able to do this without, uh, in a discreet way and I'm gonna do it. And she began to sit at the table and she found it incredibly freeing and uh, able to make a difference. I mean the pebbles on the lake, somebody teaches someone else and, uh, and it goes forward. Mm -hmm. I find um, it's kind of interesting that I, I don't know that you can stereotype who's uncomfortable with people nursing in public, if you will. It, it seems like it can be old, young, male, female. I, I, I've encountered people of all different walks of life that are comfortable or not comfortable with it, and I'm always a little surprised at who is and who isn't. I can't really predict. How do males generally respond to breastfeeding in public? Honestly, yeah. my experience, especially for women going back into the workplace, have been that men have been more supportive. Yeah, I think that's true. That they don't put so much, it's like whatever, uh, in, and it's not, I think women are more yeah. critical. I do, I think that's very true. Yeah, a very famous one comes to mind is kind of Barbara Walters just went nuts with that woman breastfeeding on the airplane. The mothers, nursing mothers in New York all got together and had a huge nurse in in front of her office. And I think that's where they uh, coined the term lactivist. I think that's yeah, the first time uh, I yeah, heard it. Yeah, I heard that, me too. <laughs> I, a, couple, a few years ago, I was on jury duty here in Santa Monica. And during my lunch break, I went out during in the mall. And everywhere I looked, there were women breastfeeding. And I, and I knew them. They'd say, hi, Corky, how are you? I said, what are you guys doing? And they said, uh, well, a security guard here booted a woman out of the mall for breastfeeding on a bench right out here. And uh, they uh, had gotten together, uh, and the legality of it was that they want to just make a point. There's a organization here, uh, Breastfeeding Task Force, and there's a, a lawyer that works with them. And she went on news that night just to say they're trying to make a point here that it's illegal in this state for that security guard to have done what he did, and let's have our employers educate their employees for what's legal and what's not. So they were just bringing that to the fore. This woman that, that was uh, asked to get off an airplane, that has been huge in the United States for raising consciousness about what, what the law really states. Mm -hmm. What are the alternatives to breastfeeding in public? Well, some people would choose to, to carry a bottle of formula, but we would encourage women if they were going to a place where they really truly did not feel at ease with their breastfeeding to take a bottle of expressed breast milk with them. They could do that. They could. Uh, Although, People who who have not breastfed and don't understand the process, to them that is just an obvious and easy thing to do because they don't understand how it works. And a mother who chooses to take a bottle of her milk with her in public, she has to have pumped that br prior. She has to keep it cold. She has to worry about warming it up if her baby doesn't like cold milk. And then there's her own discomfort. And people don't understand that breasts are not faucets that you can turn on and off. So if that mother goes an X amount of time without nursing or relieving her milk, she gets extremely uncomfortable. And that mm -hmm. can cause her health issues down the line. She so could it's get not a plugged duct and that yeah. can lead to mastitis. So she just 
it's not that easy. But there are times if a woman absolutely is going somewhere where she absolutely felt she could not do this, um, then, and I had that experience myself. I said, I said before I had my first child, I will never nurse in public. And in two weeks, I was nursing in public. I lived in Washington, D.C. My mother was visiting. We went touring, and I was nursing in public within two weeks. So uh, it was a, a very interesting uh, and freeing experience for me.